Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction word problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas and we'll be using item number 8 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will check our answers together. So we have a word problem here. Wanda is traveling on an airplane three times last year, and we just have uh, April, January, September. We've got three different numbers here. Each of them go to the hundreds place. The question is, what are we going to need to do with these numbers? Do we need to add them all, add and subtract, subtract two of them? Well, the directions are going to come in this part that I bracketed right here, this question. How many more miles? So how many more? That's going to let us know we're going to be subtracting something. Did Wanda travel in January and April combined? Then she traveled in September. So we've got a problem within a problem. So January and April combined. So we need to first combine January and April. Let's see what happens when we do that. So January is, I'm going to write it right underneath here, 278. And we're going to add that to April, 652. So that's going to be the beginning of our number sentence. I'm not going to attempt to add that horizontally. I'm going to go ahead and add it vertically here using our standard algorithm. So we've got 8 and 2 make 10. We're going to put a 0 here, carry that 1 into the tens place. So 5 and 7 is 12. That's 12 tens. Add that 1. That's 13 tens. So I'm going to put 3 tens there and the 10 tens up here in the 100 spot. And I've got 6 and 2 make 8. And add one more 100. We're going to make 930. Now, 278 plus 652. I'm just going to put underneath here 930. That's our first sum. But you notice, look, it's staring you right here in the face as a possible answer selection. So if we don't do any more, if you're just looking to find a number, boom, there's 930. But that is not the correct answer because we never subtracted anything. The problem says, how many more miles did one to travel in January and April combined? That's 930. Then she traveled in September. September is 767. So what we need to do is we need to do minus 767. So you can think of that as 278 plus 652 minus 767, or we can just look at it like this. It's 930. So let me rewrite it right here. 930 minus 767. Now this is going to be tricky because we have a 0, and we need to subtract across zeros. You cannot take 0, take away 7. 7 cannot come from 0, so what we need to do is we need to take one of these 10s. I've got three 10s. I'm going to leave two 10s behind. I'm going to take that 10. I'm going to break it up into 10 ones. Now I've got 10 ones. Well, I can do 10 ones minus 7. So 10 minus 7 is 3. But now I've got 2 minus 6. So I can't do 2 minus 6. What I need to do here is I need to take out 100, leave 8 100s behind, take that 100, Break it up into 10 tens. So now, instead of two tens, I have 12 tens. You always need to make sure when you're subtracting like this, you always have a number that's larger on top. If you don't have one that's larger on top, you need to borrow or regroup from the next largest place value. So 12 minus 6 is 6, and then 8 minus 7 is 1. And here we go. We have got 163, and that is going to be our answer now. Let me show you. We already figured out how we can find 930. Let's say you set that up correctly. You did all that work, and you did 930, and you did 767, but you decided you did not feel like regrouping. I have seen a lot of students subtract like this. 0 minus 7 is 7. 3 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 7 is 2. Well, guess what? That's an answer right here. But that is not how we... Subtract because there was no regrouping there at all, so our answer is going to be H163 miles.